do you ever wonder how sometimes you might be on the phone or talking to your friends in chat about something random and something like this happens? And then you get all hyped because how could you land that shot when you weren't really paying attention? Well, in this video, I'm about to tell you. I made a video before on improving your Widowmaker aim. If you haven't seen it already, then I recommend seeing that first because I cover some of the topics in this video in that one pertaining to focus. Link will be in the description. So in that video, what I talk about is more for improving your shot. However, those techniques aren't really what you should be doing once you have built your shot. I'll go over that later on. So if you want to get more headshots, you have to understand how to control your focus and build up your muscle memory. I'm going to use the example of staring at a flame from a candle. I'm sure some of you have done this before. After staring at a candle flame for a while, everything outside that flame starts to darken. Stare even longer and everything starts to just disappear, except for the flame. You have reached a level of focus so high that nothing else except the flame exists. Now in a match you don't have time to stare at your target for that long to reach that kind of tunneling focus, but this is the technique you want to try to work on when improving your headshot rate. Just focus on your target's head only and make sure nothing else outside your vision exists. Remember, your brain is a muscle too, and not just your hands. So if you train it to focus on your target's head, then your brain will learn to lock onto it automatically. When I started doing this, I had seen some immediate improvement and ended up landing three successive headshots with Widowmaker. However, even though this is what you have to do to get more headshots, this is not the end goal. It's not a quick fix, but part of a process. See, all this controlling focus part is just to build up muscle memory of hitting more headshots. Putting that much focus onto your shot during a real game is not ideal. It goes back to what I said in the Widowmaker Aim Tips video about your subconscious mind being faster than your conscious mind. It's the same if you just decided one day to just focus on walking. The angle of your foot and pressure of your legs on the ground. Could you really focus on anything else if you were doing that? Fact is, anyone who says they're a multitasker really means that they're able to switch their focus really fast because you can only really focus on one thing at a time. That's why at some point you don't want to put much thought into your aim and let the muscle memory you've built do it for you. So not only will focusing on your shot too much in a game slow your reaction time and actually might make you miss shots, but also you won't be able to pay attention to the enemy's position and realize you're being flanked or hear your teammates when they say it's time to regroup because you didn't realize you were the only one left alive. Putting that much focus into your shot will just interrupt your muscle memory from doing its job properly. So as of right now, you already have muscle memory, but it may not be ideal. You may have built your muscle memory to hit people's knees more often than their heads or something. So initially, controlling your focus towards enemies' heads will build a better muscle memory. Then you want to start focusing on your awareness of the battlefield, such as the enemy's position on the map and your teammates' communication, and just let your muscle memory handle the headshots. That's basically the process in a nutshell. First, use your focus to improve your headshots. Then once muscle memory improves, use your focus instead for awareness on the battlefield to free your muscle memory to do what it does without interruption from you. I want to give credit to sports psychologist Steve C. He helped me find the missing piece I needed in order to make this video and has helped not just pro athletes but gamers understand their own minds and how to improve. I'll leave his Twitter handle in the description if you'd like to reach out to him. If you guys have any thoughts on all I have just said, I'd love to read your comments. Hope this helps to improve your headshot rate. Well that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed the video be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit and I approve this message.